Hello YouTube, thought I'd just throw a quick video up of unboxing of this bad boy. This is the Wharfdale DX1 5.1 speaker setup. Uh, I've got it in gloss white so it matches my gloss white cabinet. Uh, I'll just do a little bit of a mini review as well. It's not going to be very professional, I don't have a tripod or anything, but you can see the box it came in. Mm. Alright, I can't wait much longer. Let's open this thing and see what's inside. Contents we have some white gloves, the manual, which I've already read on the internet anyway. It's like some rubber boot for the sub, rubber boot legs, sort of thing, a power cable in a bag. Um, I'm guessing that's the sub in there, which I'll tear out in a minute, and I'm guessing those are the speakers in that small box. Let's see how we go. That's the sub out. See down the back of it. Volume knob, crossover, phase switch, auto sense switch. Don't even know what that means. I'm sure, it'll be in the book. Your input. Uh, two forty volts in the fuse and the main switch. You can see it's ported at the back. It's a fantastic finish on it. It's got a bit of protective cover on the back of that, and there it is. Here it is all wrapped up. You can see it's in this nice felt sort of bag. And there it is. Screw, screw top terminals, not the crappy spring ones. Each one's individually serial numbered. And I'm told by the bloke at the, uh, the place where I bought them, the link will be in the description, um, that they only will do the warranty on ones that they know have been sent through a retailer. So if you buy these things on eBay from an unauthorized retailer, apparently your warranty won't work. I don't know if he was, was just lying to me to get me to buy, but you know, I bought anyway because they were the cheapest I could find them. I think it looks fantastic. The build quality is great. It's that piano finish, so it's, it's heavy. Brilliant. Now to the center. And that's our center. That's oh, ported, I didn't realize that. But the satellites aren't ported, the center, the center is. Brilliant. Okay, this is essentially everything you get in the box. You get these white gloves, 
which are a bit of a gimmick if you ask me. Like, we're not dealing with million dollar art here. They're only a set of speakers. I do understand that they might get some fingerprints on them. The black ones, because they do come in black, I've obviously got white, but yeah, more of a gimmick, not really necessary. I only put them on for a laugh, they don't fit me anyway. Um, so you get, obviously, four satellites and a center channel. All of them come with the grills, which are removable, the subwoofer, the power cable for it, the manual, which is all about setting it up and I've already downloaded it and read it before I bought them anyway from the website. And some, I don't know what that is, installation guide in lots of different languages. Uh, the rubber feet, those are those little, little self-adhesive rubber feet because the sub obviously comes with large rubber feet already installed on it, but all of these don't, including the center channel, you have to put your own feet on it. I'm guessing that's because people will obviously want to stand mount them and all that. Now I suppose you could actually mount them sideways as well if you really wanted to sort of match the center channel. I don't really want to scratch them, but uh, yeah, the build quality of them feels fantastic. Like, oh, it's definitely worth it. Back all together was I got it for seven hundred and twenty dollars shipped. Uh, you can find them, like I said, you can find them cheaper on eBay, but none of them in Australia. And when I I combined postage, it was going to end up costing me about $900. Um, all right, let's set it up and see how we go. Oh, one thing to note is it doesn't come with speaker cables either. No speaker cables, you have to supply your own. So I've got some decent 16 gauge wire to use for that and some banana plugs. All right, let's set it up and see how it goes. So I just meant to set them up started by putting on the, the legs so I can put them on the table without scratching them. And they've only given me 12 of these come in the box. Obviously you'd assume that you'd put four on each speaker and as there is five speakers, you'd probably need more than 12. But, oh well, I suppose it's not that big of a hassle. I'm going to head down the shops now and buy another yeah, strip of these. It is now set up. You can see I've put the center speaker in the cabinet under the TV above the receiver. It's hooked up to a uh, Yamaha RXV671 receiver. Um, obviously the two left and right channels next to the TV. I've put the sub down there and the rears are next to the couch. Now uh, obviously it's a 7.1 channel receiver but I'll see how I go. I might get some floor standing larger speakers for the left and right channel and use these satellites as the uh, as a surround back and surround left. Um, didn't use any plugs or spades or anything, I just used normal, you know, screw up wire, 16 gauge speaker wire. Alright, let's fire it up. You can see this receiver is actually really good, it's iPod compatible so you can just um, change the input to USB somewhere there it is that brings it all up on the screen and Katy Perry was playing last so I'll just go straight to that and then you can use the Yamaha remote to change the iPod There's not much point in me playing it because obviously you're not going to hear the quality, you're just going to hear your crappy computer speakers or really good computer speakers, I don't know what you've got. Um, it's definitely an improvement on what I had, which was a, just a DVD player, the Samsung one, it came to the TV, the DVD player with the tall boy speakers and the 5.1 inbuilt. Uh, first impressions are, it sounds a little bit tinny to me, but I haven't have to fix up the settings I suppose. Uh, 
that little blue light on the subwoofer is probably going to annoy me while watching movies. Obviously, I know I've got LEDs and everything in the cabinet, but I turn all that off and turn the the dimmer off. The, sorry, the LCD screen on the receiver off when I'm watching Blu-rays. That blue light's going to light up the whole goddamn room. Uh, nothing a bit of electrical tape won't fix, I suppose. Uh, other than that, I think it, it looks fantastic. Yeah, that's partly the reason I bought it is because I knew it would suit my sort of style of setup with the white cabinet and the Samsung TV. Uh, I'll throw on a Blu-ray now and see how it goes. Anyway, that's the cabinet. I'll put the link to the link to the other video of how I put the LEDs in the cabinet in the description of this one. And the only thing I've changed is I put a false back on that just the other day before I got these speakers. Other than that, it's all good to go. As you can see, it comes in a box. Pretty good for an unboxing for it to be in a box, I suppose. And I'm gonna stop and do this again because the cats are annoying me.